buying clothes for summer is actually a huge struggle for a lot of people. And I know that it was a huge struggle for me in the past. And I used to hate trying on clothes. I used to hate going into the dressing room. I used to hate looking at myself in the mirror while I tried on clothes. And I was so negative about it that I would never find anything that fit me, nothing that I felt comfortable in, nothing that felt right. And it got to the point where I would avoid stores altogether. And I would order things online and I would order things bigger because I knew when I got it, it would fit me. And, um, you know, I, this, this cycle went on for a really long time. So we have, uh, summer coming up and, um, you know, that's trying on clothes season and, um, trying on bathing suits and, um, you know, getting new clothes for, you know, different things. If you have a wedding, you're going to be in or, um, you're going on vacation. And, um, so don't beat yourself up about it. Um, what I try to do is I try to make it fun. And now I do as I didn't before. Um, I try to make it fun. So let's do a little spring cleaning of your beliefs when it comes to trying on clothes. Um, so what I do is I bring a friend and some places won't let you do this. They won't let you bring another person in the dressing room with you. But if you can, then that's perfect because and bring somebody who's going to be honest, who's going to be, um, tell you the truth, who's going to say yes, nay or yay, you know, yes, you look good in this. No, you don't look good in this, that kind of thing. Um, doing it alone. Yeah. And I'll tell you a few other things that you can do if you're doing it alone. But if you can bring a friend with you, oh my gosh, that'll help. That'll help. Um, I know some places like Target, Kohl's, um, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, um, those kind of places will, will do that. Um, there's some places that kind of frown on that, but it doesn't matter. Um, if you can bring a friend, that that's great. Um, uh, trying on clothes by yourself um, is a little bit harder. And um, what I do found is I make a little fashion show out of it. Um, yes. Um, I do a little fashion model shoot and, um, I was actually going to film this video, um, in the dressing room while I was trying on clothes, but I thought oh, it might be a little inappropriate. Um, uh, it might be a little weird if I'm talking, people think I'm talking myself in the stalls next, <laughs> next to me. Um, so I decided to wait a little bit later and then post some pictures um, which I'll post under, under the comment section in the, under this video um, of me um, just trying on clothes. Um, so something that's fun is to um, have a little fashion show and get your little camera out. I, what I did was I kind of set it and set it off to the side, a little corner, kind of propped it up, um, set a little timer on it, and I just did did a little fashion show and I took some pictures of them and I actually sent them um, um, to my shopping buddy. Um, and got her opinion on different things because she wasn't with me at the time. So um, I wanted her opinion. So even doing something like that, snapping a couple pictures, send them to a friend, say, hey, what do you think about this? Do you like this on me? Nay or yay. Um, but really when it comes down to it, when you're trying on clothes, just because something doesn't fit doesn't mean there's something wrong with you. Um, just because something doesn't fit right, feel right, look right, um, doesn't give you permission to put yourself down. Um, you are always listening to every single word that you say about yourself. So when you say negative things and when you put yourself down, you're listening. And it's going right in here. And it's causing you to look poorly at yourself and it's causing those those negative monster thoughts in your head and then every time you go to try on something again those thoughts are going to creep up and they're going to creep up and they're going to get bigger and they're going to be badder and they're going to be louder every time so it's okay that something doesn't fit you right it's just not for you it's just not meant to you're not meant to have it. It's okay if you have to go up a size. 
it really is not the end of the world. Those numbers on those tags mean diddly squat. It does not matter. It is society that has said that there's something wrong with it. It's the clothing, clothing manufacturers. It's the people that put them out, distribute them, all that stuff. Um, if you have to go up in size, that's okay. It's not a big deal. If it looks great and it fits you perfectly, what difference does it make what the tag says? What difference does it make what size it is? What number is on that tag? It's how, it, how you feel and how it fits and what you look like in it. So the next time you go shopping, the next time you go and you try clothes on, don't beat yourself up about it. It's not, it's not the end of the world. Love yourself for who you are. Love yourself for yourself, just, just you, just the way you are, just as you come. And use those tips that I gave. You know, see if they help. I would love, love, love to hear some feedback. If you've used some of my tips, and um, I'd love to see pictures. You know, if you go and you're trying on clothes and you take a few pictures, and take, you know, make it a fashion show again. You know, just have a couple pictures. Um, I'd, I'd love to see. I'd love to see them, and I'd love to hear your feedback. Um, but again, love yourself. Love your body just the way you are, just as you come. You are the most important person. Not, not the tag, not the number, not what it looks, what, what, that, what that little number is on that little bitty tag. You are not that number. You are you. And if it fits you, great. If it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. If you have to go up a size, oh well. Oh well. If it looks good and you feel great, that's all that matters. So again, take a friend with you to try on clothes or do a fashion show. Or if you have other ideas, I would love, love, love to know them. So have a great week and we'll see each other next week. Bye.